Hello everybody and thanks for joining us for another Whitfield recipe video. Oh, that's a big bump. Today we're going to be making fully loaded cheesy tots. That's not right. Today we're going to be making homemade tater tots loaded. How do you say this? Homemade fully loaded buffalo chicken tots. We're going to show you how to make the actual tater tots and then load it up in buffalo style. But we got to drive to the store first and get them ingredients. We're doing this a little different style and we're going to have this tonight on our live stream. Granted, by the time you see this, that live stream will already have happened. You can go back and watch it, but we're gonna tell the people the live stream to go watch it. No, that makes no sense. <laughs> Get those little potatoes lined up and ready to be peeled. Fun. Oops, not like that. Get a hot tub nice and prepared for those potatoes. And then you pop them in, in other P words. Parboil, that's a partial boil. So this is about seven minutes. Watch out, they're hot. Like seriously hot, let them cool. Go ahead and get a shredder ready, but you don't want it to be too big and you don't want it to be too small because it just becomes mush. So it has to be just right. Also. Be careful, because your knuckles don't fare well against a shredder. To help kill that tedious time, grab yourself a beer. Ours is a local craft brew, Cigar City's Taco Baga. Also, you're gonna wanna dry, pat down all of those shreds. You want as much liquid out as possible. You want it to be sticky. Now here's the ingredients, super easy. One tablespoon of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of onion powder, a fraction of a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. And that is it, friends. Now mix it up to the best of your ability and make sure it's nice and tacky. Now it's time to put your little artistic cap on and shape these things to kind of resemble a tot. But you know what? Doesn't really matter. That's tot enough, thanks to tot. Some like it tot. Okay, I'm done. Make sure your oil is nice and prepped, 375 for five minutes. Take it out after two and a half, let it sit for a few seconds, put it back in and it should be nice, perfect, crisp, golden brown on the outside, and nice and fluffy inside. If not, you did something wrong, and I completely blame you, because I am taking no part of your failure. Now it's time to build this beautiful monstrosity. See you in a minute. So, this, folks, is a genuine bona fide copycat recipe of an original Whitfield Food Review recipe. So, we've got our homemade batch of tater tots right there. I gotta tell you, Best tater tots ever. These might be the best tater tots I've ever existed. I'm just saying. I mean, it might be a little, um, it might be a little hyperbole, but I think it's the best tater tots ever existed. Blue cheese. Mutarela. Got the buffalo sauce. You got the shredded chicken. And you got the hunger, and you got the gen. Is she gonna take that bite first? Mm. 
How is that? Really, really good. Your tots are still crunchy. You know, they're underneath all that stuff. See guys, that's how you make a fully loaded item. You gotta be able to, the, the crunchiness of the item has to be able to withstand, withstand the moisture of the toppings, otherwise it just becomes a goop. I think I might like that better than chicken wings. Buffalo chicken wings. Uh oh. This might be Jen's new favorite. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry, it's my turn. You gonna do a 90s style though? Nope, 90s. I'm just gonna eat it. <laughs> I already did my 90s style. I want to just enjoy this. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a nice big bite of everything. Look at that. Oh God. Gotta do a little, you gotta do a little flip and then dip. A little 90s for you. Mm. Oh my God. What's really crazy about that, with that buffalo sauce and the breading, you almost get a chicken wing. Yeah, but without, I don't know. But without, I don't know. It's like a superb chicken wing because mm -hmm. you've got the shredded chicken in there. Really good um, buffalo sauce. You've got the nice crispy crunch of the homemade tater tot. That blue cheese is really good too. Yeah, and that's just that's just Publix brand blue cheese. It's actually good quality. It's very it's pungent in smell, but it's actually strong in flavor, but mild in flavor. It's not that over the top like oh god, this is limitless on what you could put on this. Yeah, but those are seriously the best tater tots. I've ever had. There is, there is no, I'm, yeah, absolutely 100% best hair tots we have both ever had. She's a bit of a, 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 she's a bit of a tot connoisseur. She's kind of like Napoleon Dynamite. Are you gonna eat your tots? If you have this, you will never go back to frozen tots again. That's my promise of 0% guarantee that I give to you. That's what we think of this. Guys, gotta go run out and try this. What we're gonna do in the future on some of these, we'll do a short little video, an ingredientless video, Put it out there and say, hey guys, we're going to do a live stream, say like Friday, and we'll put an ingredientless video on Wednesday. So if you guys want to tune in on a Friday night, we're all set up in the kitchen, you can cook with us. You can cook with the Whitfields. It's up to you. Or you can just watch us cook and eat, but I think that's a pretty cool idea. Thanks Amanda for the idea. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, so, um, tell your friends about Whitfields Food Review. Let us get real... Get, let us get big time on here and we'll be like, yo, what's up? We're we, 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 this, this is where the magic happens. Like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. I eat, right? What? I eat.